What's up guys, this is Logic Pro X Official and welcome to my lesson 1 getting started of my the 200 episode series of Logic Pro X tutorials Yeah, So let's get started, so let's just begin with what is Logic Pro X So Logic Pro X is a music production software provided by Apple itself to produce some amazing music and one thing I want to tell about that it is an amazing software I have been working with it for more than five years and and for, so far it has my adventure with this my adventure with the software has been pretty amazing experience it's pretty amazing as I just told you and you know this software contains a huge you know, it's a huge so it has a huge sound bank, you know, lots of sounds that you could use to make your music, and it has pretty much, you know, lots of voice patches, and you know, to create amazing vocals. Instead of talking about that, let's just jump into it. So let's start with how to install this application. So installing, it's pretty easy. Uh, there are two ways to install it, and one way is to go, you know, just go to your web browser type in logic pro x and once you type in the here the first result is your application and you need to click on this link and it's gonna lead you to the apple.com slash n slash logic pro slash and this is the website and from here if you just look over here it has the buy now button if you click on that it's gonna lead you to the app store when you need to buy the app or rather you could just directly jump into the app store type in logic pro x in the search field and here the app here it is I mean the app logic pro x the only thing it's it's a little bit costly 12,500 rupees that is uh, approximately um, Two hundred and ten dollars, maybe. Yeah, two hundred and ten dollars. And so, just think twice or thrice, maybe, before downloading the software. And the size is it's it's not too huge. It's just a twenty eight MB. So that's pretty. That's one of the most awesome features about Logic Pro X. So thank you, Apple, for providing such a cool software. So this is how we get that. So now let's jump into. You know logic pro x and just learn some basic stuff about like creating a new project how to create new tracks and stuff so let's just jump into logic pro x i'm just gonna click on that and once you click on it this thing appears a silver chromium metal thing <laughs> this thing appears and the next thing is this dialog box. In this dialog box, we have two things over here: the new project and the recent projects. So the new project show has all type of templates: uh, hip hop template, electronic music template, songwriter music template, multi track template, and an empty project, which is basically start from default. And it has another thing called as recent, which has all your recent projects. And if you want to open an existing projects that that is when you don't have the project that you want to open in the recents list you can click on this button over here and so let's just take a look at the templates so this is the hip-hop template so what I prefer for anyone who's you know it doesn't need to be that that he should be professional advanced you know professional intermediate or beginner I recommend everyone to start with an empty project so let's just click on this and click on choose and once you click on it it's going to create an empty project and so let's just wait for that so here it is the empty project so once you click on the choose it's going to create an empty project and the another dialog box pops in here and there are three options software instrument and mid eye and audio and the third one is drummer so let's start with creating a software instrument and mid eye so you're gonna click on this and if you see there is a detail section so I'm gonna expand it by clicking this arrow so it has two things to set up an instrument plugin so you can you know, directly use an instrument you know an inbuilt mid eye 
um, keyboard that is provided by Logic Pro X itself or you could use an external MIDI or USB device so if you click on that then you need to attach your MIDI keyboard to your computer and select the input but now I'm just going to be using the in instrumental plug in and the output let's just leave it as default and let's create the track but before that you have an option to create a number of tracks so I'm just gonna leave it to one you can create multiple tracks by setting it to two three you know how much tracks you want how many tracks you want it so it depends on your wish so let's just leave it this to one and let's create so once I click on create it loads up and we should have our track created okay so let me just zoom in maybe oh, let's leave it okay so this is what happens so this is a track you see you have your track and it has an inbuilt sound that is classic electric piano so and this is the instrumental you know the inbuilt midi instrumental plugin that I was talking about so it has keys on it so you can either click on it like that or you could actually use your keyboard keys to you know do cards and lots of other stuff like that so that is one you know major advantage about that and so this is what basically the instrument plugin is so now let's talk about this the track itself so this is the track and in here you got a couple of options the software for the first one so this is the mute option so if you click on it and play nothing will be here so if you click on it I mean if you click on the mute option nothing will be here so let's just leave it off so this is basically for muting and this is for actually you know soloing the track not soloing the track sorry I'll just get the get to this at the last and this is for setting your track at the record mode which is pretty suitable if you are recording vocals but Ooh. as this is an instrument I'm just not gonna leave it on so this is basically for setting up something uh, some track to a record mode and this is basically the volume panel and it's let's it's just better if you keep the volume to the default setting that logic Pro is given depending on your criteria basically and this here is the left and right so this so this decides so if you move this um, you know this knob towards the left side I mean towards the left hand side uh, the track so this track is gonna get here on the left headphone actually left part of the headphone and if you move to this to the right it's gonna get here to the right part of the headphone so that what it is basically so uh, now this is it and now let's talk about you know changing the stuff changing the track um, so here is the sound bank that I was talking about it has lots and lots of sounds so let's just you know you just have a lots and lots of sounds and here you have another folder it's called garbage band with a you know with a huge sweep of sounds it's pretty amazing so that's it for this tutorial and so this is so in this tutorial finally let's just recap what we did so we learned what if first of all we learn what is logic pro x then we learn how to install logic pro x then we learned about the i mean how to get started with logic pro x and then we learn about tracks its basic settings and then how to switch over between you know the software sounds so if you want to switch over you can just click on any of the sounds and here you are switched over to the other sound so the name changes so that's basically how we switch over so we learn how to switch over to and now let's do the final thing how to save the project so it's pretty simple once you have done all the stuff just go up here file we have save as option and if you click on this it gives you a more detailed preview of where you want to save so I'm just gonna save it in my desktop I'm gonna call it as project logic pro x underscore one and save that so now I can close that close logic pro x and here is my file so this is the project at logic pro x so thank you guys for watching my 
lesson one getting started with logic pro x and i'll meet you in lesson two where we'll play around with some of some of the cool features of logic pro x that is you know are working with different parts of logic pro x which is mixers you know the software instrument racks and then you know creating a couple of more tracks and learning about audio and vocals basically that so bye guys i'll meet